Hi and welcome to another very exciting quick tip tutorial. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can come over one of the most annoying things that you have to deal with when you're adding text views or text fields or a lot of text fields to your application. So this scenario here um, is not too uncommon. So we have a text view here and um, the text view actually reaches from the top of my screen to almost the bottom. And if I deactivate the keyboard now, you can see how far it actually reaches down. But the problem is that actually the keyboard overlays the text view. And there are some different approaches and there are many approaches that work, but I'd like to demonstrate to you one approach that I really like a lot and that's pretty easy. Um, to achieve and so let's get right started and um, this is actually a third-party library which is called IQ Keyboard Manager and IQ Keyboard Manager is really great because you only have to write it says it's code less zero line of code but we have to write one line of code actually um, but what it does is really great so for instance if you have multiple text fields the Keyboard Manager automatically creates this toolbar here and you can um, skip through all of the text fields using those arrows here and it actually moves up the um, text view or text fields automatically and we're going to see how that works in a second. So um, let's just make sure that you download the correct branch. If you download the master branch this works fine with uh, Swift 2.2 and so on. Uh, but when you're using Swift 3 make sure to choose the Swift 3 branch and you can also use CocoaPods as you can see here. You can use CocoaPods to um, to download the IQ Keyboard Manager and integrate it into your project. Um, but for now, let's choose the um, Swift 3 branch here and make sure to clone or download that um, to your desktop. And I've already done that and I've also already created this Swift project. Let's um, make this a little bigger. And as you can see, all I did really was adding this uh, text view into my view controller here and setting the auto resizing masks in um, the identity inspector. And now to solve our problem, all we need to do is using the IQ Keyboard Manager folder here, opening it up and make sure to select IQ Keyboard Manager Swift, these, the Swift folder here, uh, where all the necessary classes are uh, directly put into. And then we move back to Xcode and simply drop that down here and then we create groups. Um, make sure that copy items if needed and also add to targets is selected and we say finish. Build our application one time and then we get these two warnings here uh, which I believe will disappear. They're just uh, warnings about deprecations in iOS 10 but since IQ Keyboard Manager is a very active repository I think they will fix this very soon. So let's um, now move back back here to our um, project structure and select app delegate and now we're really only going to write one line of code here in did finish launching with, with options and this is IQ keyboard manager shared manager and enable and we set this property to true and that's it and then we run our application in the simulator again and let the magic happen and let's see what we get here so first of all, we have some text here and I, when I click into my, or when I press into my text view, then I automatically get this toolbar and I, when I hit done, the text view, uh, my keyboard disappears. And when I now paste my text again, you can see that it automatically moves it down. And when I click, the text view is moved up again automatically. And this is really absolutely cool because you don't have to worry about anything anymore. And if you're wondering how customizable this IQ Keyboard Manager really is, what we could do for demonstration purposes now is taking IQ Keyboard Manager here again in did finish launching with options using Shared Manager and then, for example, choosing the auto um, toolbar or the enable auto toolbar property here and set this to false. There is also a tint color option for the toolbar and so on. So it's very customizable. Now I run the application again and what we just did now was deactivating the toolbar that we've just seen. And if we now activate our 
uh, keyboard and let's paste some text again. You can see that the keyboard manager still works perfectly, but the toolbar has dis uh, disappeared and that means you could add your own toolbar or uh, kind of create your own dismiss button um, or dismiss action air or whatever you want to do with that. So I hope this also solves some of your problems that are related to the keyboard and text fields and text views. I think this is a really great third party library here and I hope they will keep to update it forever. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.